Okay, we are looking at comparing rational numbers. A rational number, remember, is any number that can be expressed as a fraction, finite decimal, or repeating decimal, and that includes all the integers. Okay, so we have negative one-sixth. It's a fraction. It's a rational number. Four is an integer, so it is a rational number. 5.8, it's a decimal that's finite. It finishes it's a rational number. Negative 0.16 repeating does go on forever, but it repeats, so it falls in our definition of rational numbers. Okay, so we're going to look at two quick and easy rules to know how to put these numbers in order, how to compare them. So here we have 1 is greater than negative 6. Okay, all positive numbers are greater than all negative numbers. That's rule number 1. 1 is greater than negative 6. Now, a warning, negative 6 has a larger absolute value, but is less than 1. Remember, 6 is a larger number than 1. Again, that's the absolute value of negative 6. But when we're comparing our rational numbers, any positive number is always going to be bigger than any negative number. Rule number 2, when comparing fractions, convert fractions to decimals. So here we have one-third is less than three-eighths. It's kind of tough to compare the two when they're sitting there as fractions. And rather than getting common denominators, though we could do that and compare them that way, we convert them to decimals by dividing the top number by the bottom number. So one-third becomes 0.3 repeating, and three-eighths becomes 0.375. And as you can tell, 0.375 is bigger than 0.3 repeating. And this also works for mixed numbers once you convert them to improper fractions and then create decimals. And when we talk about comparing rational numbers, we're talking about comparing their value. Or, put another way, we're talking about where do the numbers fall on the number line. Remember, the number line is just a visual representation of all real numbers with the positive numbers stretching to the right and the negative to the left, all the way to negative infinity. So, we want to know where are those numbers going to fall on the number line relative to each other. And that's how you compare rational numbers.